In the United States, it is customary in this part of the world for the parents of the bride to pay for the wedding. It's just one of the most customary things that has been done and has been changing in the past few years because a lot of couples are getting married later in life and they can afford to pay for their own wedding. Also, traditionally, the groom's family will pay for the rehearsal, something else like a photographer, and the groom usually pays for the honeymoon. And these are just traditions, but in most cases, traditions can be broken. So also think of alternative ways to have a wedding paid for, especially if you've got divorced parents, because you'll have to think of ways for them to both be able to contribute to your wedding without them feeling left out. But also, your budget is the most important. Don't have your parents spend more than they can afford. Just remember your parents are giving this to you as a gift. They don't expect to be paid back because this is something that they want to give to you because you deserve it. And hopefully they expect you to have a long, healthy marriage with this person that has come and been part of your life. So just make sure that you honor your parents and make sure that they understand the boundaries as well as you do. Don't have them pay for too much and also discuss with both sets of parents who wants to pay for what.